So if you're trying to remove one of these global link cylinders, you don't need to get the uh, gold key, the, the tool for removing the cylinders. All that key does is it's just a little bit longer of a key. All it does is pull down on this, this little tab right there. Uh, oh, fuck, let's see. That little tab right there, it's this big, this big thing up here. It moves by this thing here. You can see it shrink, come down. So that's all you need to do is just push that last little wafer down. So if you're coming from the front, you can just use a paper clip or whatever, and it it just comes all the way at the back. And you just need to tweak this down, and this will make that top wafer shrink, and then you can just pull out the, the thing. If you do that, just make sure that your key is unlocked. So once it's unlocked, all you need to do is put in a paper clip or something. I use the one of these uh, wave rakes first, but paper clip works just as well. Put in the paper clip all the way to the bottom. Then I think this one just goes down and you can use a screwdriver to help you pry it out. Maybe it's open. There we go. The hook kind of works a lot better. So if you give your paper clip a bit of a shape like that, just come out so again just push this in pull up up and that'll let you pull it out for the stop one or um, the deadbolt one you have to make sure that the key is actually in the open position because it'll go back to the center even if the deadbolt is open just make sure that that uh, key is turned to the open position. And it's the same thing. To put it back in, you don't even need the gold key. You just use the normal one. Put it in there. Uh, make sure that this dog goes into the right spot inside. Kind of goes at an angle. There you go. Show you again a little bit of a bent paper clip goes in all the way to the back up all the way to the back up using this thing, little wave rake, all the way to the back, up, and there it comes, super easy. Don't use these paper clips. <laughs>